Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 674. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 673 to 682. Hey, in this video here, we want to talk about counting with two OR criteria. OR criteria is we want to count not started in blanks. So not, not started or blanks means there's nothing been done on this project, and we need to count all those projects. Um, or simply means it goes, our formula will go through and for each cell in this column, it'll ask the question, is this blank or is it not started? It'll either, one of them will be true and never both. So that's an or. That's different than an and. Um, if you had fields and maybe you said, um, uh, are any of these records either equal to project one and done? Now that wouldn't be a good example for here, but that would be an example of and. Both have to be true. All right. Probably the most common formula, and certainly the one I teach in uh, many of my classes. Count if. Count if is great. It can count, look through a range, and count with a criteria. Let's highlight this range, comma, and then the criteria. We want not started. Those are words. We don't have it in a criteria area, so I'm going to type it into my formula, double quotes not started. You better spell it right, I'll tell you that. All right, now that's just counting one. Now this isn't like and criteria, we have two. This is either or, and never is there going to be a case where it's both. So we can simply, to our count if, add. And I'm going to hi highlight this right here. And then what is blank? Blank is actually just double quote double quote and now that is a great way and it calcul that's a great way to do it um, and it calculates uh, uh, nice and quick six now another way to do this is we could use the sum product and we're going to do our same two log uh, logical tests in essence um, we're going to highlight this column right here Notice I typed an open parenthesis because here instead of comma and then the criteria like we did with count if, um, this is array. Well, this whole thing's going to be array one. We just need to look at that range and say, is it equal to double quote? Now we want to isolate these because these are all true falses. And if I hit F9, you can see there's a bunch of uh, trues and falses. Never will we get a, like if this was true, that other first entry is never going to be true also it can only if this is false the only other thing the only other two things the other one can be is true or false not true true all right control z that's the first um, criteria and when we're doing in, in the sum product we're um, not relying on the count if to, to go through and do it all and then add we actually need to do what's called boolean math so we need to add plus and I'm going to repeat this and then just put start uh, not started hopefully I spelled it right not started. Really what's happening here is we have a bunch of trues and falses and trues and falses here. Only when there is a false and a true or a true and a false in the related positions in the range will it able, will we get a 1. Really highlight this and hit F9. You can see it's all trues and falses. Control Z. Same with over here. F9. Control Z. But if you highlight all of them like this, that plus sign right there will convert the trues and falses to ones where there's a false and a true or a true and a false F9. So there we get our count of six. Control Z. Better put a closed parenthesis. Now there's another way to do this. Totally awesome. And I just saw this the other day at the Mr. Excel message board. Aladdin uh, had this one. Equals sum. And we're going to use count if. Now, in our first example up here, we listed it twice, right? Well, this time, we're going to list it once. Just one time, but guess what? Comma, the criteria, if you know array syntax, you can put both the criteria. Up here, we, it was, that was actually a great formula. It was count if plus count if, and it's by far the most common. But this, we can put our, both of our criteria here. Array syntax just means curly brackets, and then I'm going to put a double quote, comma, and then double quote, not started. 
So n curly brackets. So those curly brackets allow us to put criteria 1 and criteria 2 there. Now let's close parentheses on the count if, and if we highlight this and hit the F9 key, you'll see that it's actually returning two values. That 4 is for the blanks and the 2 is for the not started. And then the sum function adds them. Control Z, close parentheses. And I'm just going to hit Enter. This doesn't even require Control Shift Enter. This is array syntax. A lot of times uh, with arrays created by formulas, you have to Control Shift Enter. But a lot of times with large, small, sometimes count if like here, and a few other functions, you can actually VLOOKUP, for example. You can type in array syntax like that, and it will handle it. 6. I just love that one. I saw that formula there. I just thought that is an awesome way to do OR criteria. So we could do it this way. Uh, we could do it uh, this way with adding Boolean math, or we could do it the old standby uh, two count if functions. All right, we'll see you next trip.